Hello Aries and welcome to your water energy reading. This reading is not conjuncted to any particular time frame. It's just a general energy reading showing you a path to ascend or a way to ascend. Not the way to ascend, there are many ways of ascension, many paths of ascension, many possibilities. I will represent here a flying bird spread representing a central body of the here and now and we have exhaustion here but I will draw another card if you want to see the exhaustion card watch Gemini and you will see that energy also for you so let's draw another card and next to the central body we have the wings representing your fears your responsibility to that fear or ability to respond the intuition the intelligent action the I have not too many cards I have also the point where you learn to relax and accept and find peace of mind so I'm gonna conjunct that card again and let one come out for you Aries also the intelligent action and the arrival are on the other side of the wing representing or I will put out the loose carabio cards for that and have a read through it as well and I'll take I have two cards here change and completion and I will take the one that resonates most the completion card and let's do have a read through the description while I'm having these cards laid out and shuffle them and read them out for you so let's make three packets see which one straight this one so here we have your fear represented by the seven of cups your responsibility to respond to that fear or the ability to respond is represented by the ten of swords your intuition is the queen of swords your intelligent action is the two of cups your point where you relax and accept and find peace of mind is the fool card and the arrival is hard work card the seven of wands so let me go to this completion card which is a major arcana many major arcanas coming out for the readings so the completion card 44 fine pages excuse me for the stall damn it completion here the last piece of a jigsaw puzzle is being put in its place the position of the third eye the place of inner perception even in the ever-changing flow of life there are moments in which we come to a point of completion in these moments we are able to perceive the whole picture the composite of all the small pieces that have occupied our attention for so long in the finishing we can either be in despair because we don't want the situation to come to an end or we can be grateful and accepting of the fact that life is full of endings and new beginnings Whatever has been absorbing your time and energy is now coming to an end. In completing it, you will be clearing the space for something new to begin. 
use this interval to cel celebrate both the end of the old and the coming of the new. This way is the way of Zen. Not to say things to their completion, this has to be understood. It is very important methodology. Not to say everything means to give an opportunity to the listener to complete it. As always, answers are incomplete. The master has only given you a direction. By the time you reach the limit, you will know what is going to remain. This way, if somebody is trying to understand Zen intellectuality, he will fail. It is not an answer to the question, but something more than the answer. It is indicating the very reality. The Buddha nature is not something too far away. Your very consciousness is but Buddha nature, and your consciousness can witness these things with which constitute the world. The world will end both, but the mirror will remain, mirroring nothing. Yes, so completion is the game, and your fear is represented by the seven of cups, and the seven of cups here is rep, is meaning, let me take a fast read, your, uh, oh. Yes, so you are uh, in fear of imagination. If you are dreaming of engagement or marriage, know that you can succeed. New meetings will be exciting, meaningful phone calls. So just take the word imagination for the Seven of Cups. Something to fear on your imaginative side. Maybe you feel like you need more influx from other perspectives and something like that the imagination lacking maybe some more new things you need to endeavor and what would be the responsibility for that imagination to be jolted is the ten of swords and the ten of swords is about devastation i guess so what else does it represent? The defeat, remorse, physical pain, tears, animosity and disappointment. If you don't know how to counteract the conflict that prevents you from fulfilling your dreams, seek the reason why. So it's about fulfillment and also the relax and acceptance cards is about new beginnings. So what are you worried about, Aries? Uh, something uh, of new beginnings. What is your intuition telling you? The Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is about the rival, a single woman, widowed or separated, intelligent, vindictiveness, cunning, but also wisdom. Be very careful in sharing confidences about the dream you are working on. So you do have completion in your knowledge and you feel complete, but there is lack of imagination in your endeavors or something and, and total defeat about able not able to respond or something uh, there is a completion here and a new beginning so whatever is needed for that in the intelligent action is represented by the two of cups and the two of cups is all about uh, cooperation do not be on your own do not work on your own it's about harmony, a third artistic affinity, selfless friendship, romance. Your dream can come true only if you can make a decision in keeping with the circumstances. So it's about imagination also here, uh, artistic affinity. For um, uh, re uh, sharpen your uh, artistic affinity with whatever you complete, with whatever you make. Start this new beginning and feel fulfilled and you know at your arrival it will be hard work again to to continue life is hard work in any direction but the point is to enjoy it in any way you can and be as productive and not productive but as fulfilling to whatever you um take on on your on that, on that journey so I will keep it at this Aries. It was quite a uh, balanced reading going in both directions. Um, but you you are at a point of completion. You just need to sh take off the rough edges of the diamond and make nice corners to it. Like many of us need to do, I guess.
So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care.